this is kind of cool. Hello, everyone. Um, this is a little bit of a test because I'm about to start doing Zoom webinars, and I thought that I'd do a little bit of a dry run showing you guys how to create a Sierpinski triangle. I'm going to have a webinar today. I'll put a link. Uh, actually, it's only in a few hours. I'll put a link. It'll all be all about fractals. And this right here is going to be one of them. So let's totally begin from scratch. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to try to replicate that sort of triangle structure of the Sierpinski triangle, right? So what that's going to look like is this. We're going to um, go in three directions. So we're going to say for i in range 0, 0,3. So three times, we're going to go forward a certain distance. Let me just resize that to something reasonable. We're going to go, say, forward 100. And then we're going to turn either left or right. It doesn't matter. 120. And then we're going to go backward 100. So if I run this, you're going to see this structure. So the very first thing I'm going to do is sort of move it a little bit so that it faces up. We're going to say, right, 30 degrees. Run that. Oops, maybe not right. What if I turned right 60 or something? We want it facing up. All right, we need, we need more. Right, 120. Trial and error, not serving us well. Um, what if it was just left 30? Let me think. Yeah, finally. OK, so we have this triangle structure. And if we can make that recursive, we are really already going to be on our way to a Sierpinski triangle. So how do we go about doing that? Well, Sierpinski triangle is going to have, if we already start building a function, it's going to have two things to it. It's going to have a size and an order. So if we say def Sierpinski and we say size comma order. Now this is going to be effectively one triangle. And initially what we want to do is we're going to go until order zero. So we're going to say if order double equals to zero, then return. Now, if order is not zero, then we're going to draw these, these sort of triads in a recursive manner. So I will say else here, and we're going to run this, except it's going to be forward size, and it's going to be backward size. But when you reach the end of the forward, that's when we draw a Sierpinski. So that'll be Sierpinski size over 2, comma, order minus 1. So let's, let's have a look at whether this is backwards, backward size. Um, the question is, do I need to do this turn before or after? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's just run a sear bin ski. Let's pick a size 100 and we'll say order being three. Ah, we need to have speed 100. That'll be too slow. Yeah, that's interesting, but that's not quite it. What if we turned left after coming back? Because we, yeah, that's a bit better. I, however, thought I was turned the right way. Um, right? 
let's make sure this thing is facing up. If we turn right 30, okay, good, 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 good. And if we go something more detailed, like five, it's gonna draw the Sierpinski style triangles. So the trick to, um, to being able to do it, that it looks prettier would be at the very ends of these, we could draw little triangles in the shape of turtle stamps. So turtle has a shape that's a triangle um, and that triangle is a particular size. So it's, we're kind of cheating here, but let me show you what we're gonna do. If order is zero, right? If order is zero, we're going to stamp. The first one's gonna look a bit ugly. Oh, and the stamp is already a triangle. By the way, since this was already uh, programmed before I deleted the code, let me show you what you need to do. Shape, triangle. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. It's only a question now of figuring out sort of the setting at which this is going to work. So, I mean, if we have a stamp, um, we could also begin with pen up. And so if the pen up, if the pen is up all the time and it's just leaving stamps at the end, this is interesting. What if we decrease the order? I don't know, let's, let's try three. Hmm. And you want to actually, when it's, when it is done, maybe we're going to need to do some, um, hide. What if we hide? What if we hit the turtle H T? Okay. That's looking good. And if we increase the order, wow. So there you have it. That is the Sierpinski triangle. Beautiful. Um, you can actually uh, try to increase the settings. So like if we wanted to go to a bigger size, I wonder if we did 200, um, whether these would be too far apart, right? And if we did 200 and then a five, you'd have to figure out the exact settings. Actually, they seem to be multiples as long as that one right there is 40 times bigger than the one right here, things seem to be working really well. Anyway, there you have it. That is a pretty Sierpinski triangle. I'm going to go um, back to YouTube and we'll see how HD the stream was. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That's all. Bye-bye. We'll stop sharing.